So the purpose of this video is to quickly introduce you to resource groups on Azure and explain what they are, what they're used for, and how to create one. Okay, so what is a resource group? According to this article from Petri.com, uh, let's highlight this part right here. Resource groups provide a way to monitor, control, access, provision, and manage billing for collections of assets that are required to run an application or used by a client or company department. So the way I like to think about resource groups is that they're a container that has everything that's related to a particular project, um, which they explicitly said in the description. They also mentioned that it could be used by a department or a company group. So think of it as like, you know, maybe um, you're a contractor and the company wants you to work on a particular Azure project, right? But they don't want to give you access to everything inside um, their Azure serve, uh, subscription. So they might just give you a resource group that's related to the application you're working on and it'll have all the things that you need for it. So as you can see, um, I have an example of a resource group here. You see a couple of different types. You see a storage account, app service, app service plan, cloud service, SQL server, database, automation account, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's all of these things are related to this one um, resource group that is called DevOps training that you can see over here. So in order to make a resource group, you just want to go to the portal. You want to go to the resource group tab on the menu. We'll go over here to add. We'll make a new resource group. We'll call this my resource group, right? We'll use the description resource group location is East US. So just click on create. It's going to give you a prompt that it's being created. And uh, let's just try refreshing this page real quick. So there we have it. My resource group pops up. It's empty, right? So we can um, start adding things in future videos, but this is just a quick introduction to what resource groups are, right? So we'll use the same resource group throughout the tutorial series. So that's pretty much it for resource groups. So the following videos will cover things that we can add to our resource groups, such as SQL, Azure SQL servers and databases, as well as um, storage accounts and et cetera. So stick around and uh, hopefully you learn a thing or two.